So you are about to start writing your medical school personal statement. What you say is as important as the mistakes you want to avoid. Stick around to find out what those are. For the best medical school personal statement coaching, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so uh, you don't miss out on any videos I post. If you want a free strategy call with me on your personal statement, book that call in the description below and we'll get started. With so much at stake for your med school personal statement, you want to make sure that you hit creative, reflective, thoughtful kind of moves throughout the essay. However, these are four tips to avoid so that you want to kind of tell your best um, story, right? Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. Um, as a writing faculty and personal statement coach, I know how to help you tell your best story. It's your turn, let's go. Tip one, don't pretend like you know what a doctor's life is like. It sounds harsh, it sounds aggressive, and I'm sorry for that, but you wanna make sure that you are avoiding these kinds of um, blanket statements that you kind of know the hardships of the ins and outs of everyday life as a physician. If you're watching this, I am 100% confident that you will one day become a physician, but you're not there yet. So your personal statement should be made personal about you really kind of narrate your experiences and you can talk about hardships as long as you've experienced them and observed them yourself right so you can talk about kind of negatives or kind of drawbacks of um, a nursing home let's say if you volunteer there and you can kind of lead lead with a patient centric experience first um, but kind of avoid these blanket statements that you know what it's like to be a doctor. Um, the essay is not asking you if you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Um, that's kind of um, implied. And then the delivery, when you kind of make those um, sentiments, it kind of um, can rub people the wrong way. And then um, you're not really being personal. You're not answering that kind of why your journey and why you've done, kind of you've committed to, to this um, this field. So make it about you and don't pretend like you know what it's like to be a doctor just yet. Tip two is kind of similar. It's the don't rag on doctors you've come into contact with. So many times students will tell me that they want to write about um, that like their spark moment and initial experience was um, the passing of their grandfather or uh, an illness at um, you know, a, a sibling illness. And so they are really kind of drawn to writing about that there were careless mistakes or laziness or whatever negative about the medical professional team treating that patient. Um, and I say avoid this. It's, it's tough because I, I always tell students that, you know, you should honor your truth and you should honor your journey, but you also kind of, there are a million ways of telling a story. And if you dedicate, let's say two sentences to the passing of your grandfather and then eight sentences to kind of medical negligence, then if you look at that as a whole, you should not be spending eight sentences on anything. But if you see that as a whole, then the story is not about your grandfather. It's about kind of malpractice or kind of, you know, and I would caution against this because you want to make sure that every story, one, is personal enough where it is kind of advancing your argument about why this is your kind of purpose and calling and, and how you are showing continued commitment to the field, right? So you're not doing that with that. And two, every story that you tell, you want to elicit from the reader compassion, empathy, understanding, curiosity to learn more about who you are. And so something about something negative about the medical field may kind of elicit skepticism or kind of be a, offensive. And so you want to make sure that you um, avoid that with with your reader because this is a very, very important text, right? I don't have to tell you that. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you have a story that you want to share in your personal statement, but you're not sure if it's radioactive or not? Comment below. I'd love to give you my two cents. Tip three, I would avoid humor. So this is a pretty conservative bunch. Um, and okay, so if I back up, with every rule, there is a way that a student breaks it inevitably. If your natural voice is kind of, you know, witty and humorous, and that is how you naturally write, um, then I would say keep this as a potential fl a red flag top of mind, but, um, but you definitely want to kind of avoid it if it's kind of not your natural speaking kind of voice. Um, so if you want to show kind of wit and an observational kind of depth, then do that by analyzing a cultural reference or an image in, the, in your experiences. But don't add kind of, you know, jokey, um, self-deprecating moments. It kind of comes off as making light of a situation or that you are kind of unsure of yourself. And we want to be as confident 
and, and precise as possible with our language. Tip four, don't make a negative mark your kind of main premise for the personal statement. So if you have a less than stellar MCAT score or less than stellar GPA, um, you may be talking about kind of, you know, as you're writing about your journey, you may talk about kind of dips in GPA, let's say, or kind of, you know, um, why you took a gap year here or why you, why you had a poor performance this semester, but don't make a kind of a negative the main purpose, the main kind of um, crux of the argument in your personal statement. You never know if you are calling attention to something that they already kind of, when they're looking at your application holistically, that they've already settled on. But if you draw them closer to that kind of red flag and all of the real estate or most of the real estate on your personal statement is talking about that red flag, then you kind of could potentially have them second guess what they already settled or point to something that they didn't really think was that big of an issue and you've blown it up and made it a bigger issue. So definitely kind of, if you're gonna talk about something negative, you wanna spin it as something that you learned from, that you adjusted your systems, that you are more resilient, more adaptable, um, ready for the rigors of medical school, right? But don't make it your central claim um, kind of apology tour. If you want more personal statement feedback and kind of expert tips, definitely book your one-on-one -on -one call with me. The link is in the description below. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe, share with your pre-med friends. I really appreciate it and more will come soon. Thanks.